Welcome to the He's Got Issues Marvel Comics Edition number 137.1. I'm John Cooney here to preview new Marvel comics being released September 3rd, 2014, beginning alphabetically with all new Dupe number 5 of 5. A senior X-Men must find Dupe and make him stop the craziness corrupting the real world, but is the little green guy too far gone to listen? Someone leaves the X-Men, Dupe turns down a marriage proposal, and a reservation is made at the Hall of Hairy Armpits. Next we have all new X-Factor number 13. Quicksilver is reunited with his daughter Luna, but the Inhumans are not too happy about it. Plus, could Warlock make a move on danger? We've also got Avengers World number 12. The uprising continues. The Army of the Dead march at Morgan Le Fay's command. The ragtag heroes of the new Euroforce team up with the Avengers to confront the menace lurking under Europe. Next we have Black Widow number 10. Because you demanded he shows up in more than just two panels, Black Widow vs. Hawkeye. Plus, how could their fight cost Isaiah his life? We've also got Captain America number 24, The Tomorrow Soldier Part 3, The March to Access continues. Zola unleashes the hypermutates on New York, Jet Black and the Falcon vs. Zola to the death. The Red Skull's long game revealed as the road to access begins here. Next, we've got Dark Tower, The Drawing of the Three, The Prisoner, number one of five. The Dark Tower saga begins again on Earth. Meet Eddie Dean, a troubled young man gifted with the ability to open doors to other worlds. Can he survive family tragedy, haunting addiction, and the deadly forces that conspire to stop him from growing up to challenge the man in black? If you thought the Badlands of Midworld were dangerous, just wait until you experience Brooklyn in the 1960s. We've also got Deadpool vs. X-Force, number four of four. Deadpool is dead set on destroying the timeline. X-Force is extra for sure not going to let him. X-Force is stronger, but Deadpool is more popular. Who'll win? Next, we have Death of Wolverine number one of four. It's the beginning of the end. Three months to die ends here. The beginning of the end is now here. The death of Wolverine. Three months to die. The loss of Wolverine's healing factor all led to this, the single most important X-Men event of the decade. Logan has spent over a century being the best there is at what he does, but even the best fade away eventually. Over the years, Logan has been a warrior, a hero, a renegade, a samurai, a teacher, and so much more. But now the greatest X-Men hero will play a role he never played before in this special weekly event brought to you by industry superstars Charles Soule and Steve McNiven. Next, we have Figment number 4 of 5, revealing the origins of one of Disney's most imaginative characters, an all-new steampunk fantasy story exploring the never-before-revealed first adventure of the inventor known as Dreamfinder and his famous dragon, Figment. Clockwork Control invades London while Blair and Figment are trapped within the Nightmare Nation. Our intrepid explorers must find the power to escape or be lost inside their deepest fears forever. Acclaimed writer Jim Zub and Philippe Andrade give a Marvel spin to the mind-expanding attraction Journey into Imagination. We've also got Hawkeye vs. Deadpool number 0 of 4. Once upon a time, champions emerged to fight evil, plaguing humanity. They fought for salvation, for all that is good in the world, and they won. They were kind, generous, and self-sacrificing. They were heroes. These are not those heroes. Meet Hawkeye, ladies' man. Ladies' man because the ladies love to hate this man. Crossbow, Crusader, and most importantly, Avenger. He's the only guy on the team without any powers, though, so cut him a little slack. Then there's Deadpool. Mr. Deadpool to you, Skippy. The regenerating degenerate. You can shoot him, stab him, and make with the punchy punchy right in his face, but nothing can keep the merc with a mouth down. What do they have in common? Halloween and a shield espionage mystery that has both heroes racing against the clock while outshining one another. It's a Hawkeye and Deadpool comic 75 years in the making, give or take 75 years. Next we have Iron Fist the Living Weapon number 6. A figure from Danny's past comes to his aid, but is the Iron Fist broken beyond repair? A new hope is born with talons and fire. Is there new life for Kunlun or a fate worse than death? We've also got Legendary Star-Lord number 3. The Badoon have captured the Star-Lord. Sharing a jail cell with a Spartax criminal and a Badoon child aren't exactly Peter's idea of a good time. Luckily, Peter's got an ace up his sleeve, an ace named Kitty Pride. Next, we have Miracle Man number 10. Mike and Liz Moran are now parents to a talking newborn Miracle Baby. Their surprises have just begun. Two strange alien figures are tracking the subjects of Project Zarathustra. Who are they and how are they connected to Miracle Man's origin? Johnny Bates fights back against Kid Miracle Man, making a decision that will have epic repercussions. Including material originally presented in Miracle Man number 10, plus bonus content, 
parental advisory, this issue will be polybagged. We've also got Moon Knight number 7. Season 2 of Moon Knight begins with the new creative team and a blackout. When the entire city is thrust into darkness by a threat, Moon Knight must use all of his weapons and personalities to defeat a new foe. Brian Wood takes the riding reins picking up where Ellis left off, pushing questions from Moon Knight number 1 back to the fore and amplifies them 100-fold. Next we have Original Sin number 8 of 8, The Final Judgment. We've also got Punisher number 10. The Punisher gets incarcerated in a South American prison. Surely he'll be a model inmate. With Frank locked up, who is cleaning up the streets of Los Angeles? L.A. has a new crime lord with a personal vendetta against Frank Castle. And with the Punisher gone, it's open season on the police in L.A. Next we have Revenge, The Secret Origin of Emily Thorne Hardcover Premier Edition. A new graphic novel inspired by ABC's popular television series Revenge, co-written by series writer Ted Sullivan. Emily Thorne is a wealthy and good-natured philanthropist who recently befriended the powerful Grayson family, but Emily's real name is Amanda Clark. Twenty years ago, the Grayson's elite social circle framed Amanda's father for a horrific crime, and Amanda plans to destroy the lives of those who stole her childhood and betrayed her father. Now experience Amanda's first mission of revenge. After training in Japan, the untested heroine finds herself infiltrating high society in Geneva. There she uncovers secrets about her past, but her future will be short-lived unless Amanda can defeat a surprising enemy with ties to the people who destroyed her life. Prepare for a thrilling ride into the previously unexplored past of television's most dynamic and dangerous Girl Next Door. We've also got Rocket Raccoon number 3. Everyone's favorite pistol pack in Procyon finally finds himself face to face with the intergalactic imposter. It's Macho Ado About Everything as Macho Gomez guest stars and the ex-Terminators are hot on Rocket's tail. Procyon is the scientific term for raccoon, obviously. Next we have She-Hulk number 8. Charles Soule and Javier Polito's acclaimed run continues. She-Hulk takes on a new client, Captain America. Meanwhile, Patsy does a little digging on the blue file. We've also got Spider-Man 2099 number 3. McGill's uneasy arrangement with Alchemex lands him in a literal war zone, and his very existence is once again threatened when Tiberius Stone is taken hostage, plus a classic Spider-Man villain faces the future Spider-Man. Next we have Superior Foes of Spider-Man number 15, still not cancelled. Gang War begins here. You know it's a big deal because we put it in all caps. Everyone gets in a big fight over the head of Silvio Silvermane, Lives are lost, feelings are hurt, and car keys get misplaced. We've also got Uncanny X-Men number 25, Original Sin tie-in. Xavier's greatest secret has been revealed. Against such overwhelming power, will the X-Men succeed in holding the line, or will Xavier's final gift to his children be their undoing? And we've got X-Men number 19, with Sword's orbital headquarters, the peak literally hanging in the balance, the X-Men race into deep space to find the source of the new threat that's emerged from the abyss. But little did they suspect that lurking in the shadows of the Akanti skunk works, a conspiracy is waiting to entangle them, and what's worse is that it's a conspiracy that has connections to the deaths of Rachel Gray's family. Out in trades this week, we've got Dark Tower, the Gunslinger, Omnibus, Slipcase, Hardcover. Stephen King's epic has riveted readers for decades. Now Roland Deschain's early adventures are revealed. Last of the Gunslingers, Roland searches for the mysterious Dark Tower, the one place where he can set right the out-of-sync midworld. As Roland trails the sorceress Man in Black, he will confront the little sisters of Eularia, encounter the desolate town of Toll, rescue the powerful Shimi, and meet the mysterious Jake Chambers in a tale of fantasy, horror, revenge, and betrayal from the masterful mind of Stephen King, plus a companion volume packed with fascinating bonus material and apocrypha. Collecting Dark Tower, The Gunslinger, The Journey Begins 1-5, through five, The Little Sisters of Eularia, number 1-5, through five, The Battle of Toll, number 1-5, through five, The Waystation, 1-5, through five, The Man in Black, 1-5, through five, Shimi's Tale, 1 and 2, Evil Ground, 1 and 2, and so fell Lord Perth number one. Next we have Deadpool Minibus Hardcover. Deadpool's wildest adventures are collected in one blood-soaked volume. What if Deadpool decided to kill everyone and everything that makes up the Marvel Universe? What if he followed that up by slaughtering the most famous fictional characters in classic literature? And what if he finally took aim at the ultimate target himself? You'd have the fan-favorite Deadpool Killogy, that's what. But when Deadpool battles Deadpool, will he win or perish? Yes. Then Deadpool awakes from a food coma to find the zombie apocalypse has occurred. Can the Merc with a mouth avoid becoming the Merc in their mouths? 
And when Deadpool takes on Carnage, good crazy battles bad crazy, blood will flow, and Deadpool will literally go to pieces. Collecting Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe 1 through 4, Deadpool Kill Illustrated number 1 through 4, Deadpool Kills Deadpool 1 through 4, Night of the Living Deadpool 1 through 4, and Deadpool vs. Carnage 1 through 4. We've also got Infinity Trade Paperback. To save the world from ever greater dangers, the Avengers got bigger. Yet when the oldest race in the universe marks Earth for destruction, it's time for Captain America to think grander still. As the most powerful Avengers team ever assembled heads into space to join an intergalactic alliance against the ancient builders, an old enemy deems their home unprotected. Thanos, the Mad Titan, unleashes his forces on Earth in the latest chapter of his endless quest for death. But even a world without Avengers has its defenders. Amongst them, the secret cabal of history shapers known as the Illuminati, a group riven with internal conflict already confronting another planet-ending crisis. As Earth's mightiest heroes wage war on multiple fronts, their battle for infinity threatens to descend into inhumanity. Collecting Infinity 1-6, through 6, New Avengers 7-12, through 12, and Avengers 14-23. through 23. Next, we have Kick-Ass 3 Hardcover Premiere Edition, the grand finale of Mark Miller and John Romita Jr.'s blockbuster. With Hit Girl in jail, it falls to Kick-Ass to lead the superhero team Justice Forever. But superheroes have been outlawed, leaving Kick-Ass to dodge both cops and some terrifying new foes. For the first time, Kick-Ass begins to doubt. Is he in too deep to get out? Meanwhile, Hit Girl starts running all the gangs in the joint, and a broken red mist gets an education from a terrifying crime boss. Soon, every costume superhero is not only running from the law, they're running for their lives. As the body count rises, Kick-Ass must decide if bringing justice to the city is truly worth the ultimate price. Plus, the flashback you've been waiting for, the secret origin of Hit Girl. How does little Mindy McCready earn her assassin stripes? Find out as Kick-Ass comes to its epic conclusion, collecting Kick-Ass 3, number 1 through 8. We've also got Marvel Masterworks' famous first 75th anniversary slipcase set. In celebration of its 75th anniversary, Marvel Comics proudly presents this deluxe collection of its 10 Mightiest Masterworks hardcovers, plus the all-new, long-in-demand, not-brand Eck Volume 1, and the Avengers 75th anniversary by Alex Ross poster signed by none other than Stan the Man Lee. Each titanic tome in this limited edition box set features a newly designed cover treatment and interlocking spine artwork, and the slipcase itself is patterned after stately Avengers Mansion. Order yours today, true believer, while supplies last. And we've got the Oz Omnibus hardcover. L. Frank Baum's magical world of Oz comes to life like never before, courtesy of the Eisner Award-winning team of Eric Shanower and Scotty Young. Join Kansas farm girl Dorothy and her little dog Toto, Scarecrow, Tin Woodman, Cowardly Lion, Glinda the Good Witch, Young Tip, Jack Pumpkinhead, Sawhorse, Queen Ozma, Button Bright, and more. And don't forget the wonderful Wizard of Oz himself as they explore the marvelous land of Oz, travel the Yellow Brick Road, and defend the Emerald City against the Wicked Witch of the West, Mombi, Ginger, the Evil Gnome King, and more. Collecting Wonderful Wizard of Oz 1 through 8, Marvelous Land of Oz 1 through 8, Ozma of Oz 1 through 8, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz 1 through 8, Road to Oz 1 through 6, Emerald City of Oz 1 through 5, Marvel Illustrated Wizard of Oz Sketchbook, and Oz Primer. Alright, so that's it for Marvel this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he's got issues com to see both the DC and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney. And I've got issues.